Welcome back. It's time for this week's edition of our Power Women segment with Claire Brown. Thanks yeah, for joining us once thanks again. Thanks so much. Yeah, and this is kind of a special week because it is mm. the beginning of Women's History Month and also International Women's Day. Yeah. Um, so first of all, Claire, walk us through, you know, why do we celebrate this? Where did this come about? Right. And what's it all about? Of course, I love this month. Mm -hmm. It is such a fun month for me. Fun week, all the things. Um, in fact, I launched one of my companies this week. Oh, there you go. A year ago, actually. Yeah. So women decided that if we're going to be asked to work, then we also wanted to vote. And so World War I shifted the role of the woman, and then women started to shift the conversation ever since then. And the women's suffrage movement started in the early 1900s, but the first Women's International Day was not declared until 1911. And none of this was ever recognized in the United States until Jimmy Carter declared National Women's History Week. And then Congress declared the month of March as Women's History Month in 1987. Slowly and surely, women create change and continue to change the conversation as well. So it took a while to get there, but now we're celebrating it. Yeah. And of course, it's Women's Month, but that doesn't mean just women can celebrate. No, it does not. Yeah. Walk yeah. us through how, you know, both men and women can celebrate right. this month. Right. Absolutely. Because it's definitely, it takes both. It's the we conversation. Yes. And so, yes, first, if, if you're a woman, this is a time to understand that you are being seen and heard. And many times you do not feel that way. And we understand that. But it's also a time to feel empowered and to help others. So this month... Ask for a raise, ask for the promotion, ask for paid family leave, ask for what you haven't asked for, challenge someone to match your donation to a woman's charity, make plans to run for office, apply for the job that you've always wanted. We should all listen to the voices of the women before us this month as encouragement to achieve those things beyond our imagination. So absolutely go for it yeah. this month. And then how specifically can men support the women in their lives during this month? Right, which is part, I, I think that's my favorite, actually. Mm -hmm. It really is. And so I talk to a lot of men who really grow tired of the equity conversation, which I really understand. And my response to that is the equity conversation will only change when there's equity. So do something about it. Gender roles and responsibilities for women will not change until it's echoed by men. And this month, it would be amazing if all of you men would write a thank you note to a woman that you appreciate. And if you did it more than once, even better. Volunteer at a women's nonprofit to gain a new perspective. Take a woman you respect to lunch to open the conversation. And what does she really experience? Read a book. It's written by a woman author or listen to a podcast about women and then go out of your way to show a woman you listen and respect them. Sometime this month, be purposeful about it. I think that's the biggest thing is yeah. be purposeful. Oh, I think that's some great advice, Claire. Thank you for helping thank us celebrate. Thank you so much. I love it. Of course.